Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm back from my vacation finally. Um, I stayed for another day unexpectedly, but um, you know, I'm actually on my upload schedule. Last time I made videos four days ago, I usually upload every three and four days. So yeah, I'm still doing pretty good. Uh, this is probably gonna be a late upload since I'm recording this at like eight o'clock, basically, basically seven. It takes me like two hours to up, like to edit my videos. And so yeah, anyways, please watch until the end. It's probably not gonna be that long of a video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I'm just gonna give my, what I think is my most accurate FNAF figures that I have right now, my top five. And yeah, I'll rank them from like, uh, they're all obviously my most accurate in my opinion. You guys can tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. And I would like to see what you guys think, which ones uh, are, your, are your favorites. I have all my these figures that are in the, shown in the video. Like, there are separate videos on them in the comments. Uh, like, not in the comments, the description. So you guys want to see how I made them. And if you possibly want to make them, then you can just look at those videos. But yeah, guys. Um, I was going to get on with the video. And like I said, it's going to be from, like, the least accurate of the ac most accurate figures to the most accurate. So yeah, let's get on with it. So the first one that we have up is Grim Foxy. Now, he is very accurate in my opinion. I like the gold that I gave him. And I even painted his up too. Now, I also painted his endoskeleton, you know, it might not look like it. But yeah, I think I did a pretty good job on him and compared to how he looked like before. Now, he is in last place before all the other figures on this list, but he's still pretty accurate in my opinion. In the video that I that shows how I made this guy will be in the description down below. But yeah, this guy I think is a pretty good figure, but he is in last place. Alright, so the next one that we have up now is Toxic Spring Trap. Now he was the first custom that I made on this YouTube channel actually. I made him about like I think seven months ago. Yeah, I think he's pretty good, although um his nose was black before but it chipped off. But yeah, I basically painted him gray and I pitted his, like, warts and stuff. But it, it is chipping off, but I still think he's super accurate. And you guys seem to have liked him. And fun fact, I made Grim Foxy and Toxic Spring Trap on the exact same day. And the video for Toxic Spring Trap will be in the description down below. Alright, so coming up in third place, we have Montgomery Gator. Well, the shattered version of him. Now, I put him in third place because... He is actually pretty accurate in my opinion, and he actually used to be a bootleg. But yeah, I think I made him look a lot more accurate, especially since he was a really ugly bootleg before. But I actually made him look really nice now. Now he's also not the best though, could have done a bit more painting on him, but yeah, I think he's still really good. And the video for him will also be in the description down below. Alright, so coming in at 4th place we have Flaming Springtrap. Now, I didn't expect him to be like one of the most accurate figures, but he actually turned out to be. And I think he's pretty accurate to how, I made, how the in-game model looks like. And I even make his uh, hands yellow like he has in the game. And so up his feet too, I painted his endoskeleton and everything. And I think he's pretty good. And he's a lot better than the rest of the figures that I have shown you today. But yeah, he'll be, his video will be linked in the description. Alright, so the my most accurate figure in my opinion is Vanny. Now Vanny I made a video on but I didn't show me painting her and how I made her. But it was because I made her uh, before I had my YouTube channel, so I didn't get to really record doing it. She took me three days to make and I even gave her pause and I made it out of clay. And yeah, I think she looks pretty good. I even uh, swapped out her original feet with glitch straps in her hands too, to make it more accurate. And yeah, she took me three days to paint and like just make her. And I did a lot of work on her face too. Like with sculpting and clay. And her video will be linked in the description down below. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, please like and subscribe. Um, it'll help me a lot. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. And so hopefully you can help me get there. Trust me. I really appreciate it if you guys subscribed. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one, probably on Monday. And yeah, bye guys. Thank you guys a lot for watching this video today.